Hey everyone, it's Amy. Um, so this morning I woke up to myself snoring and I thought, what a Sunday. Um, I don't have to go to mass. I like, I'm gonna get up and pray. And the Lord spoke to me really powerfully and he said, Amy, are you gonna do the bare minimum? Like, are you just gonna do the bare minimum for me? Like, yeah, you can't receive me today, but why don't you just go to mass? So I wiped the drool off my chin and <laughs> I got up and I brushed my teeth and I put up my hair and I put on a dress and I found a live stream mass from Minnesota. And the priest confirmed what I wanted to tell you all today and um, encourage you in. And so I take that as a word from the Lord that some of you actually really need to hear this. And the message really is that God is good. Um, I know I have been really struggling with planning my wedding right now of just like this uncertainty of, Lord, is this even gonna happen? Like, am I gonna have to postpone? My heart breaks for people who have had canceled graduations, who are, have had to postpone their weddings. Like my heart is actually breaking. I've cried with people. I've cried for myself. Um, and this is what I think the Lord wanted to say to me today and hopefully to some of you, hopefully to all of you that the Lord created this world's good, but he created it breakable. And our first parents broke it. Um, but the world is still good. This earth is still good. God is still good. And this world is undone. Right now it's undone because our parents broke it. And the Lord uses this he uses the world being undone to actually build our trust in him. And I've really been struggling with trust. And what the priest posed today is that if the world remains undone, if this situation never changes, will I still trust God? I don't know the answer to that question, honestly. I'm struggling with it myself. I'm praying with it today. I'm going to pray with it for the rest of this week, maybe the rest of my life. If the world remains undone in this way, in this horrific way, will I still trust God? Because what is the real danger? That my heart be undone. That my heart not realize that God is the answer. That if nothing, if nothing changes, God will always remain the answer. And if I don't get a miracle, if my wedding has to be postponed, if this isn't over by Easter, if we don't have an Easter miracle, if, if there is no miracle, will I be the miracle for people? Will I be the witness that says, I'm not going to do the bare minimum. I'm going to go to God. I'm going to trust him, even though it's freaking hard. It's hard. When my friend, so my, one of my friends from college um, lectured at the mass that was live streamed today, that I went to and he got to receive Jesus and I didn't. And I wept, I did, I, like snot was running, tears were running, I want to receive the Lord so bad. But if this never changes, if I never get to receive the Lord again, if I never get a wedding party, will I still trust the Lord? If my graduation is canceled, if I'm a senior, if I never get to celebrate, will I still trust the Lord? So let's not do the bare minimum while we're in isolation, let's, draw close to the Lord because God is the answer. And even in this world that is broken, he is unbreakable. And even in this world that is undone, he is not undone. He actually can undo what is undone because he is so good, even if the circumstances are not good. My last thing, I was praying the St. Michael prayer this morning, and it really struck me that we pray for the souls that the devil is prowling on. And souls are going to be weak at this time. We don't have the Lord physically. So let's pray the St. Michael prayer every day for ourselves, for um, this world that is undone, and for the souls that the devil is prowling on. So that's all. I kind of want to close it by from all of us at Ascension Presents, <laughs> like Father Mike Schmitz does, but from all of us at CCM, at UCF, <laughs> this is Amy Ellis, signing off.